Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another hockey break. Another first for me at least, and one that I'm very excited about. Uh, another sub box, one that I've never tried before, but I've seen videos, I've seen some of these boxes broke, and I gotta tell you guys, I've seen nothing but good stuff. Today, for the first time on this channel, we are gonna check out the gold box hockey edition right here from uh, Sport Card boxes.com i will put the links and everything else in the description for you all if you guys want to check them out i would definitely recommend it like i said just regardless of what i get in this box i've seen some really really cool stuff pulled in the other videos it's a very affordable box you know i like everything i've seen so far with this that being said this box before we get into it has a cost of 75 dollars canadian which translates roughly to about 60 dollars you know 61 dollars us that is not a bad deal, especially when the uh, the sub box prices just seem to keep going up, up, up. This is one that's actually affordable and is a very cool design. For nobody that's or for anybody that's never seen this, please check out this. And sorry for the glare and stuff. Uh, I just want to show how this is. Don't mind the little ding there from uh, you know shipping and stuff like that. But it's a really cool design. It's kind of just black all the way around, as you guys can kind of see. But then the cool part here, it opens from the side. I like that. It's like a little magnetic kind of deal. And it opens up, and you have this just glorious kind of inside here. Nice presentation. I love it. Like I said, uh, this is a little bit outdated. I know this is the May edition and stuff, guys. It's not the, the brand new edition or anything like that. It's a little bit behind on getting this video out. But, uh, you know, I'm excited, like I said, to see what you can get in here. This is box 85 of 250 so only 250 total boxes put out in the may edition featured products are listed right there at the top you guys can read those for yourself each box contains four of the six featured products one of the four products will be a guaranteed sp authentic pack which as you guys know i love spa gold hits so you get a gold pack in here which we'll show you guys here momentarily but gold hits consist of autographs patches jerseys rookie cards number cards premium gold hits are one in four Elite Gold Hits for May, Mitch Marner Young Gun Rookie Card, and Patrick Kane Young Gun Rookie Card. Those are two monster cards. Three sealed boxes of 2021 SP Game Use. So big, big stuff, honestly, guys. Um, and I will tell you guys in, in advance, the June box of this, I've seen a couple of them opened up. Uh, the, the Chase cards for that month are just sick. They are from SPA. They are a Sid the Kid uh and connor mcdavid you know not on the same card but a sid the kid and connor mcdavid black autograph uh limited cards they are just sick looking cards uh would love to get either of those for the pc obviously would be just mammoth and then here's the packaging like i said a little bit of foam here kind of on top this is our gold pack which we're going to do at the end with our kind of guaranteed hit doesn't feel like it's a slab card or anything like that it just kind of feels like it's maybe something top loaded i think it's probably going to be top loaded. it doesn't feel like a one touch either and then here's our pack. So I'm just going to pull this little stack out of our packs. And we'll go over the packs here kind of one at a time. And then we'll get into busting these open. So we'll just throw this kind of back inside there. And we'll put that bad boy on display here in the background. All right. So our packs. 1920 SPA. Very, very nice stuff. Obviously a hobby pack. 2021 Series 1. That's a hobby pack. 1920 series one that's a hobby pack as well there's a nice little throwback 91 92 very very nice stuff from upper decker right there 2021 series two that's a hobby pack 17 18 series one that looks to be a retail pack 2021 opg that also looks to be a retail pack and last but not least 1920 mvp and that is a hobby pack so eight packs plus our kind of gold hit back there and stuff like that like i said guys for 60 bucks let's be honest that's a pretty good value uh, i feel definitely it's a very good value regardless of what we pull and yeah that being said like i said i'm going to save the gold pack for the end of course as the sub box itself falls down try to keep that up for the duration of the video all right let's check out this 9192 pack right off the bat do the old school going to be a lot of cards to have to flip around i'm sure that upper deck was very very good at making sure you had to flip your cards every which way back in the day but uh, craig cox starts us off trevor linden one of those portraits team checklist cards there then we got a johan garpenloff 
Mike Ricci. There we go. Sorry for that focus on that, guys. I just noticed that. Dave Manson. Ray Bork. There's a nice big-time player. Tom Fergus. Yari Curry. I thought we had a Wayno, but uh, Yari Curry. Next up, Randy Velichek. Looks like a cool card coming up here. Chris Tansel. And check that out. Actually, let's come back to that in one sec. I don't think I've ever pulled that. Mark Peterson. Honest to gosh, guys, I've opened so much of this stuff back to when I was a kid, and I've never pulled this card in my life. That's a really cool looking card there. Bueno. Wow, Brett Hall. Holy heck. That is a really, really cool SP1. That I'm going to have to look up. That could be, believe it or not, that could actually be a big hit. SP1 could be something because SP cards, uh, some of them have tremendous value right around this time. That is very, very interesting. Huh. SP1. Like I said, I've never pulled that and I've opened a lot of this. That might be a very, very hard card to hit. I'm definitely going to have to check that one out. A little bit closer here afterwards. And let's check. I don't know if there's any odds that we can actually look at there. Eh. Like cards of Upper Deck Heroes. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's about the autograph Brett Hall cards. Yeah, nothing no, nothing odd-wise with that. But uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I will look into that, and I'll put in the description if that has a lot of value. If it doesn't, I'm just going to kind of probably not add that to the description. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's an interesting card. It's a cool one. I will definitely keep it in the PC. I think I'm going to save all the flagship stuff towards the end. Actually, the SPA pack will be the very last, but I'm going to do OPG, then MVP, I think. So 2021 OPG, first up, like I said, it's a retail pack. Let's see what we can get in here. So Brett Pesci, Patrice Bergeron, Philip Zadina. Looks like we've got a blue coming up. Matt Zuccarello, Oscar Lindblom, blue parallel. Michael Backlund. Erratic Faxa and Philip Deneau. And us so off in that pack. Let's do our 1920 MVP. It is a hobby pack. Oh. For some reason, MVP, they always make it really, really hard to tear into that. I've noticed that over the years. All right, let's see what we can do for 1920 MVP. Philip Forsberg, Jonathan Druin, Derek Stepan. RNH, nice little silver script there. And it looks like we've got one of those Stanley Cup parallels behind there. Yeah, Mika Zabinijad, nice Stanley Cup edition. 131 of 249. Heck yeah, nice little die cut action there. Anybody wants to check out the back of that, there you go. Good stuff. Chris Kreider, Alexander Barkov, and Josh Bailey. So a nice numbered hit in that pack. Pretty good stuff. 1718 Series 1. Let's do the flagship stuff. This is the only retail pack of the flagship stuff that we have. 1718 Series 1. Looking for Brock Besser, personally. One of the best ones, for sure. So, J.G. Pajo, and I actually think we have a Young Guns in here. Matt Stasian, uh, Matthew Benning, and our Young Guns. Hey, I'll take it. Philip Cheidel. Not a bad one, for sure. Philip Cheidel. Really nice stuff there. So, we hit a Young Guns. In a retail pack, which is a little bit harder to do. Kevin Fiala, Luke Glendenning, Natty Mack, Nathan McKinnon, and Antoine Strawman. So, good stuff there. Nice little Young Guns hit. Let's do, uh, we'll do chronological order here. Like I said, for the remainder of these flagships. So, 1920 Series 1. Looking for either of the Hughes brothers. Jack or Quinn. Those are probably the big gets. Looks like we got a UD Portraits. So, we got Lou to start us off. Cal Palmieri. Dominic Simone. Kasperi Kapanen now back on the pens. Portraits of Ovi. That's probably one of the better ones you can get. Brian Little, Nick Bukestad, and Yusperi Kotkaniemi. So, not a terrible pack there either. 2021 Series 1, looking for Alexi. Let's get another Alexi. I only have one thus to this date. And would that be something to pull that out of a loose hobby pack? Because let me tell you, I have... Oh, boy, the amount of... Uh, <laughs> Series 1 that I open is unbelievable. We do have a Young Guns. I can actually see a Young Guns down there. That would just be sick. i take a nice Robertson, too. But uh, Nazem Kadri, Nikolai Ehlers. I can tell you it's not going to be... Um, it is not going to be Alexi. Artem Anisimov. It is Connor McMichael. That's actually a decent one, though. So it is another good Young Guns. 
Connor McMichael, heck yeah, there you go for the caps. Take that. Then we got a Miles Wood behind there. Uh, Franz Nielsen and Philip Grubauer to end us off in that pack. So we're doing pretty good with the young guns. Two or three flagship packs have brought us young guns. 2021 Series 2, let's see if we can get a little bit luck here and with another young guns from the flagship stuff. See if I can get another Kirill the Thrill. I'd really like a Tim Stutzla, though. I'm still looking for that to this day. Did we get an auto? you got to be kidding me. I I'm not positive, guys, but I swear that's the design of the auto cards. Oscar Sundquist, Tyler Bozak, Ben Hutton. Get the heck out of here. Wow, that's a hit, guys. That's a nice hit. Signature sensation, Scott Lawton. Sick stuff. Those are tough, and I mean very, very tough pulls. I think that's maybe the second signature I've pulled out of Series 2, out of the numerous hobby and retails and blasters and everything else I've opened in this. That's really good stuff. That is a, like I said, that's a tough pull. Very tough pull. Very, very nice. Heck yeah. Tyler Johnson, Sam Reiner, Dominic Kubelik, and Pavel Buchnevich. So not too shabby. Nice little break. Where's that Series 2 pack? I don't want to bore you guys to death. Oh, that's going to be impossible to read. Oh, gosh. Look at the, the kind of screwed up print font there. Yeah, the heck with that. I was going to look for the uh, the odds of pulling that auto, but that's not worth it. The 1920 SPA. Let's see if we can get a little bit of luck. I can tell you from the feel of the pack, there's no auto patch card in here. But we could get a nice future watch. I would love to pull a nice future watch out of here. Pretty big rookie class for sure. Future Watch Auto would just be sick to end this. And then we still have the gold pack, though, to be honest. So uh, uh, let's see what we have here. So Matty Barzell, Eric Carlson. It's an Oilers. It's upside down. That's weird. Oh, oh, oh no way. Why is it backwards? Award winners, Connor McDavid. Why is it backwards? Wow. That's a good pull. Honest to gosh, I got so excited I thought that we had an autograph one. Because you can't get these in autograph form. That would have been insane. But that's a really good pull. And I feel like I've opened a lot of 1920 SPA, and I've not pulled this card. I almost feel like that's a variation, but, you know, it probably isn't. But I've not pulled that card. That's a little bit of a harder pull. I do know that. And that's uh, obviously one of the best ones you can get. So Anders Lee and Alex DeBrincat. So pretty good value here. Like I said, for 60 bucks, we're getting some really nice hits. And here's what it's all about. You know, I've seen some really, really good things pull all these gold packs. Let's see what we can do for this gold pack here. Definitely hoping to open a lot more of this on the channel. I like this a heck of a lot. It's been a great break. Regardless of the cards I pulled, you know, the, the bang for your buck is definitely there. A little bit of, maybe I didn't tear that down low enough here. Let's get this. Oh, let me pull it back. I don't want to knock the camera over here trying to... There we go. All right, I got it started now. All right, let's see what we have. Feels like a top loader and also kind of sleeved up and maybe a team bag to protect it, which I appreciate. Well, it's actually giving a little bit of difficulty there, so let's just do that. And it is a game jersey. Hey, it's a good player. Patrick Line. Patrick Line UD game jersey. That's going to be from uh, 2021, I believe. Or is that 1920, actually? It's been a while. 2021. There you go. Nice Patrick Line UD game jersey. There you go. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. So not too shabby there. I mean, not one of the mammoth hits or anything like that, but it's always nice to get that bonus hit. So we got jersey. Heck, we got an auto. Signature sensations of Scott Lawton. We got a few young guns. Holy heck. Uh, you know, we got the Connor McMichael, which is a great one. We got that Philip Chidel from 1718. We got the nice award winners of Connor Mac Daddy himself. Uh, yeah, heck, we got a numbered card. I didn't even realize. I forgot all about that Mika Zabinja that we pulled out of MVP being numbered there. And then what could turn out to be, it could be totally wrong or it could totally be something mammoth. From all things, 9192 Upper Deck. Like I said, I've never seen this card in my life. It's SP1. I'm going to have to look into that. Glass Nost, or, I'm sorry, Glass Nost on Ice. Uh, an interesting card, to say the least. Uh, you know, a really cool card there. Some big-time players. Really cool-looking photo and everything else. 
I'm going to have to look into that. Like I said, if it has some pretty good value, I will put that in the description for you guys also. Uh, yeah, guys, give Gold Box a chance. Like I said, I think it's some really, really cool stuff. I like what they've done here. Definitely interested in opening some more of these on the channel for sure. Uh, and they have, you know, quite a few different Gold Boxes to check out. I might have to check out one of their baseball ones. Uh, and, and, you know, who knows what else. But uh, definitely interested in doing more of these for sure. Please do me a favor, guys. Like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. I will also link, of course, the Gold Box uh, with their links to their website, sportcardboxes.com. You definitely want to check them out. I definitely appreciate them, uh, you know, with everything for the video and stuff like that. Really cool box. Once again, I hope to open many more on the channel here. Other than that, guys, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.